Today, we're doing our best to have a positive impact in the community. We're having a massive community cookout. We got all these monument grills fired up. Got some great help hanging out with us today. Yeah. Hey, check out these beautiful monument grills. Shout out to them. They actually donated all of these. Stick around. We're going to give all these away. I don't need four more grills, but these things are awesome. And uh, they also pay for all the food today. I'll leave a link in the description below, but big shout out to that company for really supporting this today. We cut about 150 steaks. And now we got these uh, four monument grills set up, grilling steaks, we're chopping steaks, we're loading them up on some fresh hot biscuits. Uh, we got eggs coming right off of the monument grill griddle tops there, loading them up. And I made it this Alabama white sauce, which had a really nice kind of tang that went well with the steaks. So that, that was pretty cool. But you know, where we're at today, this place is a food pantry uh, that really feeds the community. But you know what, let me just let them tell you about it. Uh, Kelly is the executive director for the Bridging the Gap here. And so uh, we're gonna just, Kelly, what kind of stuff do you guys do here at Bridging the Gap? Okay, so Bridging the Gap is known as a food pantry. We're now the largest food pantry on the south side of Atlanta, according wow. to the Atlanta Community Food Bank. Awesome. I didn't just pull that out of the air. You didn't make that up. I didn't yeah. make that up. Um, so we serve anyone who comes. We don't turn anyone away uh -huh. unless they're a danger to themselves or someone else, and then okay. we'll call in someone to help them. Okay. Um, we, uh, last year, we distributed 2.42 million pounds of food wow. out of our facility here in Noonan. Um, that's a lot of food. 2.24 million. 2.42 million, million pounds, pounds of food, and that's what went to humans. We wow. uh, we're a food salvage operation, okay. so we uh, get food from grocers. Uh, okay. We sort that food. Anything that's not fit for human consumption, we send to pig farmers. Nice. So that number is just food that was fit for human consumption. It doesn't okay. include what we gave to those. What farmers. you gave to farmers? Where does it come from? Where do you guys get the food? So we're affiliated with the Atlanta Community Food Bank, okay. um, and they have given us relationships with places like. BJ's and Costco and Sam's Club and Kroger and Publix nice. and Aldi's and Walmart, you name it. That we have awesome. relationships. We also work with Delta Airlines who gives okay. us a lot of water and snacks and things nice. like that. Nice. Um, and we work with an organization called Second Helpings uh, in Atlanta that also arranges for us to have food. It's a massive network. It, it is like. a massive network That's and it's awesome. about collaboration because yeah. if we don't collaborate with everyone in the community, then we're not serving the community as a whole. And yeah. by working together, we can all help lift That's the community awesome. up. That's awesome. And um, I. I think I remember you saying there was five, only five full-time employees. We only have five full-time employees here. It is the four to 8,000 volunteers that come here a year wow. that make it possible for us to do a distribution of that much food in the community. That and, is awesome. You know, in 2023, we grew by 52% over the year before. Wow, that's amazing. So we have doubled and tripled every year for the last four and a half years. Well, thank you guys for what you're doing. And when Monuments Grills reached out out and said they wanted to do something in the community. I was like, who is doing something really good in the community already that we could partner with and highlight? And you guys came to mind. And so uh, well, really you. glad it worked out. And we got to come down here and do this. Today, I am so. too. All this talking has made me hungry. Let me go in for a bite. Let me throw some of that Alabama white sauce on here. Oh man, so delicious. This juicy goodness. Yeah. Mm. At this point, people are lining up. Gonna be about 200 cars, so 200 separate families. So people are waiting in their cars, so we're heading out and surprising them with a hot, fresh breakfast. Would you like a steak and egg and cheese biscuit? There you go. And let's see how many people we got. Five and all, okay. Well, I got, oh, look at that, I got five. So we got four grills. Two of them are on steak duty. One is an egg station, and we got those Monument Grill griddle tops on top. One of them has it even built in where you can like swap out the surface there. Then we go down to our prep station where the steaks are getting chopped up, getting loaded on those fresh biscuits, eggs, a little bit of the sauce, some cheese. Then we're taking them out and handing them to the people. Big shout out to my dad. He cooked 300 eggs on that egg station. And you know with eggs, you can't leave them. You gotta stay right there. And so he's over that hot griddle for, you know, I don't know, hour and a half cooking 300 eggs, but super cool. My daughter was a big help. All these other guys, my son, friends. What a great day.
It's awesome. Yes. Yeah. You guys are doing amazing work. That's awesome. It's a blessing. I enjoy it. Yes. That's right. What a cool thing they do. I mean, it's really neat to just hang out, be a part of what they got going on today. Once they were done and had served everyone, uh, we started getting everybody's names and, and throwing them in a big bucket, and it's time to give some grills away. And uh, while that's going on, we make sure to feed all the volunteers. Funny enough, one of the local high schools was actually doing a volunteer event themselves across the street. And so they had the whole uh, football team out there and uh, it was a 40 something kids or something and uh, talked with a coach for, uh, for a minute. And uh, I was like, man, we got extra food over here. Send all those boys over and let's give them some food. So the whole team came over, they got New York strip, steak, egg and cheese biscuits too. So uh, that was cool that we got to share with all of those guys as well. So at this point, everybody's got their name in the bucket and we're gonna give away some grills. You wanna draw it out? Yes. Okay, here. Somebody that doesn't have it in there. Yeah, <laughs> you, you gotta look the other way. You gotta look up there. There you go, just one. I'll make sure you got just one. Let me make sure you got, you got two, hold on. You got two, let me take one of them off. Which one you don't have your fingers on? Okay, who is that? Uh, Maguire. Maguire. Look at that. There you go, nice. Nice. There you go. <laughs> okay. That's a perfect So you get you're you're gonna get first pick. It's really cool that this guy won actually. He's with the Knights of Columbus and uh, he had brought with him like forty something volunteers that morning. So that was super cool that he actually got to win. Look the other way out and I'll make sure you only pull one out. Okay, you only have one, open it up. Yes! Mark? Yes. Is that is that him? Yeah, there you go. Did y'all win? Yes. Nice. Hey, and pay for all the food. This is their new line of grills, Mesa new line of grills. So um, yeah, they, they did a ton of like upgrades and customizations of the glass and the the uh, uh, temperature gauge. These uh, sides they fold down and all that kind of stuff for space conservation and all kinds of things. So yeah, super, super cool little grill. So that's there you awesome. go. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, it that's awesome. It, match your, it matches your song. It does. <laughs> it does. Very cool. Okay, so hey, as you want, um, do you have a, a propane tank already? We do. Okay. Well, good, because it cost me $65. So. <laughs> What's your name? Peppy. Peppy? Yes. Okay, Peppy's going to draw. Peppy, you can look the other way, and I'll make sure you just have one. <laughs> she said go small. Okay, come out. Let me make sure you just got one. Oh, you got two. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, say it, say it loud. Say it loud. Say it proud. Michelle? Michelle. Who's Michelle? It might have been Michael. Michael. Oh, that's Michael. Michael. I got news for you, brother. You want a grill. Thank you. <laughs> no, right there. All right. The black one. All right. Appreciate it. You're welcome, man. All right. Congratulations. I'm super happy this guy won. This, this gentleman has been coming and volunteering at Bridging the Gap for like years, like twice a week. And so it was really neat that he won a grill today. He was super excited about it. We're here at Bridge in the Gap in Noonan, Georgia. We've just had a great time, served close to 200 families. Each family got like a 100 pound box of food. And we had what, 40 something volunteers here today. We did, we did. And then we uh, fed everybody breakfast, including all the volunteers. It was much appreciated, the clients and the guests who were here today. Awesome. They just raved about being able to have such a wonderful breakfast, so awesome. thank you. Well, thank you, Kelly. You guys are doing Thanks. amazing work. Keep it up. Thank you. And uh, thank you guys for watching. That's all we got for you today. Take care. God bless. And we'll catch you next time. And let's do more good.